Psychiatric slavery is a reality. Psychiatric slavery is a reality. Thomas Saws, psychiatrist Thomas Saws first introduced me to the idea of psychiatric slavery. He believed that the insanity defense and civil commitment form the foundation of psychiatric slavery. Psychiatric slavery is a reality. It is immoral. And if you don't know what it is, I'll tell you. Psychiatric slavery is when people earn money from psychiatric coercion, force, and confinement. Psychiatric holds, which lead to civil commitment, are arguably part of psychiatric slavery. Tell politicians that psychiatric slavery should be outlawed. There are hospitals in all major cities in the United States where people are locked up when they are either a danger to their own self or others, when they are deemed to be a danger to their own self or others. People should be allowed, adults should be allowed to be a danger to their own self. Suicide should be respected as a civil and human right for adults. I'm not saying that suicide is a good thing. In fact, I think it'll be good if we can reduce suicides to zero. However, suicide should be respected as a civil and human right for adults. We should use persuasion, reason, and kindness to reduce suicides. We shouldn't use force, coercion, and confinement. Tell journalists to write about psychiatric slavery. It's a topic which deserves more attention. The language we use around psychiatric coercion is important. Thomas Saws went so far as to say that psychiatric coercion is medicalized terrorism. So please help to outlaw psychiatric slavery. Please help to raise awareness about psychiatric slavery. Please help to end this grave moral wrong, which is psychiatric slavery. I hope you hear what I'm saying. I recommend you read books by psychiatrist Thomas Saws. Some of his books include Psychiatric Slavery, Psychiatry, the Science of Lies, Suicide Prohibition, the Shame of Medicine. The Myth of Mental Illness. The Myth of Mental Illness. Fatal Freedom, the Ethics and Politics of Suicide. Our Right to Drugs, the Case for a Free Market. Insanity, the Idea and its Consequences. Thomas Saws believe that death control should be legal. Birth control is legal. Birth control is influencing when one creates life. Death control is influencing when one, when one ends their own life. And again, I'll say, it will be good if we can reduce suicides to zero. We just should not be using psychiatric coercion, force, and confinement to, to achieve that. And also, I'll state, suicide, just like other intimate acts, should only be done in private. It shouldn't be allowed to be done in public. It should be illegal to try and engage in suicide in public, but doing it in private should be a right of adults that we shouldn't necessarily encourage. I'm not encouraging it. We just shouldn't use psychiatric force, coercion, and confinement to stop it. When we do use psychiatric coercion, force, and confinement to stop suicides, when people earn money from that, they are engaging in psychiatric slavery, and that's wrong. So again, to reiterate, psychiatric slavery is a reality. I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, please follow me, subscribe, watch my other videos and streams, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be. Cheers.